Hello, welcome back to another installment of Mega Goaltending's Distance Development Drill Series. Justin Johnson here with Mega Goaltending. And today we're gonna to do a drill that uh, tries to replicate a little bit of what it's like in the crease for a goaltender during the game. Now, so often we work on uh, movement drills and quality movement, uh, but we never add any kind of resistance or any kind of adjustments for the goaltender. And so today, uh, as a coach, I'm gonna try and represent a person that's in front of the net, kind of an obstacle, a barrier for the goaltender to get around. I'm gonna offer a little bit of soft resistance uh, in order for them to kind of have to fight through and adjust and try and still maintain a quality movement technique. Now, this is a drill that I'd recommend more for a peewee or older. Um, once a goaltender kind of has established some strength in their movement, uh, and maybe some of your movement drills are getting a little stale and you want to offer something a little bit different, but something game relevant as well. Uh, I would exercise some caution on how much resistance you're going to give to the goaltender, um, just to make sure that they are uh, still safe and that you're not actually causing any harm while you're doing this. But again, offering a little resistance, we're gonna just do a simple movement drill that we, we call the picnic table where goaltender's gonna start on the post, they're gonna travel to the opposite corner of the crease, across the top of the crease, and then back to the post. Um, this would kind of represent maybe a movement drill in, in, a, in a power play penalty kill situation or maybe a puck moving around the zone. And it gives us a chance, as me as a coach, to offer up a number of different areas of resistance. Here's some of the ways that I like to do it. Ready? Go! So I'm just kind of poking, I'm just kind of prodding, making it a little bit difficult for him to make his move. He's fighting to keep his positioning everywhere he goes. So if I knock his stick, he's fighting to get it right back. If I give him a little pressure with his hand, he's getting it there. Good. So there you see, just kind of some opportunities to give a little nudge, put a little pressure, get to the feet a little bit. All things that a goaltender will likely experience as they go through a game experience uh, at the older levels. Again, advise this for the kids that are a little bit older, a little bit more established in their movement. A fun way to get, get them uh, acclimated to that game situation. So a fun drill for a lot of older kids to, to try. Once again, if you like this drill, check out megagoaltending.com. Thanks again for taking the time to check us out. And thanks for taking the time to work with your goaltenders.